Hey, what's up? This is NYC Me TV episode three. So I guess there are really kind of two questions for today. One, did I learn anything? Did I decide on an apartment? And two, what the fuck am I doing filming in a bathroom? Well, the second question is easier than the first one. I'm filming in this bathroom because it's the only place in this apartment for some reason that has light at night that I can use. So, yeah, I don't usually drink beer is in the toilet either. This is this is kind of weird. But um, I checked out a couple other places. So the first place I talked about before, it was a, kind of a smaller place. Three other people, um, three Russian researchers. Pretty small, um, long hallway with rooms nestled along the sides. And that was about, I think it was 800 a month for that, not including utilities. So about 900. So that one is kind of at this point. And then after that, I checked out another place that um, had a bunch of grad students in it, and that was in North Park Slope, which is markedly different than, I think, East Park Slope, which I visited last time. And East Park Slope is fucking ghetto. Don't go to that place at night. It's bad. But um, North Park, oh, it's actually, I'm sorry, Prospect. No, it's North it's Park Slope. Um, and it's kind of a family community, but there are five other people in that apartment, five graduate students. They seem like nice people, but if we learned anything from the real world, when you have that many people, people start, or stop being nice and start getting real. So, the last um, place I checked out um, was in Fort, what the hell, Fort Green. So, um, and that was actually a really cool place. And it's um, currently occupied by a journalist and uh, MFA student who's finishing up her poetry degree, which is pretty awesome. He's leaving to go to Afghanistan, and he's going to be back in August. So that place is, um, I'd have to, there's no chance that I could continue staying there. It's $800 a month. But one of my friends that will remain nameless and is going to burn in hell said that I, I shouldn't worry because he's going to Afghanistan, and they're going to burn in hell for that. But, um, no, so I don't know, that, that place looks really interesting. $800 a month, everything included, um, till the end of August, beautiful area. And the last place I visited was in Harlem, and that place is occupied by, um, it's a three bedroom, it's occupied by two jazz musicians, one's from Italy, um, one's from the local area. It's great amazing people, and that's $700 a month. So, um, I really hit it off with them. They even like Japanese literature, and if anybody knows me, that's freaking awesome, man. The room is really small, though. It's, a, it's smaller than, like, 9 by 9 I think, so I could just barely fit my stuff in there. But, um, I don't know. So it's a tough choice between the um, place that's being evacuated by the guy who's going to Afghanistan, and that's $800 a month, or the $700 a month um, place with the jazz musicians. So, I have a couple more places to check out tomorrow, but I don't know, I'm kind of sort of leaning towards the jazz musician thing, and right now, if, it, if anybody knows about, um, I was thinking of a $1,000 place that had a disco ball in it, and this guy throws crazy parties on the weekends, that one's out of the picture, $1,000 with no job. Not good, not good. So, I don't know. And by the end of the week, I'll figure it out. And I may be living with the jazz musicians in Harlem. So, I don't know. We'll see. And cheers to you guys over in Ventura. Don't make me miss me with my foot in your ass, be cool.